Good morning and welcome back to another session of online classes for grade 12 AS level sociology. So our topic for today is why individuals tend to conform to social expectation. Okay? It is very important for you to know that social life in the society is very possible. Why? C'est tout simplement parce que ben individu to conform to social expectation. Social expectation, c'est quoi? C'est tout simplement ben social norms for individual and organization. That is, the society tend to impose about what people should do or what people, how people have to behave. Okay, so social expectation is too simplement the acceptable ways of behaving in the society. But why do you think people tend to behave in a certain way, which is mostly acceptable in the society? Okay, première raison qui explique ça c'est socialization. Nous avons une ben agency de socialization qui aide par rapport à comment est-ce qu'il ne peut socialiser une ben personne par rapport à behavior que la société accepte. Ok? Nous avons deux types de socialisation. Nous avons primary et nous avons secondary socialisation. Comme vous connaissez, c'est la famille qui est en charge de primary socialisation. Dans primary socialisation, ben les enfants sont socialisés par les parents. Okay, ou bien simply through processes such as imitation. Et they tend to respond to the approved and disapproved behavior in terms of good and bad behavior, which is normally taught by the parent, but through the use of rewards and punishment. Par exemple, les enfants vont apprendre le good and bad behavior with the help of rewards and sanctions. Si un enfant fait quelque chose de bien ou bien il behave well, so what happens is that the parent is going to reward the child. Il est capable en termes de praise, il est capable en termes de treat, ok? Mais si un enfant il mal agit, comment est-ce qu'il par là il peut regulate sa behavior là? C'est tout simplement through punishments. Quand il fait aux punishments, il est capable en termes de smacking ou bien il est capable en termes de scolding. Okay? C'est dans sa même façon là qui nous régulait a child's behavior. Et il est applicable pour après aussi. Okay? Et bien les autres agencies qui aident aussi, c'est peer group, nous avons education, nous avons media et nous avons religion. Okay? Par exemple, à l'école aussi, nous régulait a child's behavior through rules and regulation or for re through rewards and sanctions, that is punishments. Okay? For example, si un enfant il travaille bien pour l'examen, the child is going to be rewarded with a certificate or a shield. Il est capable a verbal positive comment by the teacher. Ok? Mais si un enfant il mal agit dans la classe ou bien en général dans la cour l'école, ok? So the child is going to face punishment. Il est capable en termes de confiscating uh, his personal uh, personal objects ou bien calling the parent of the child, etc. Ok? Deuxième facteur qui aide par rapport à social expectation, comment nous regulate a person's behavior, an acceptable way of behaving, c'est agencies of social control. Ok? Donc, agencies of social control qui nous aide, nous avons formal and informal social control. Le but de social control, c'est quoi? Comme le mot peut dire, c'est control. That is, it is very important that we maintain, we control the society, we control the people of the society because it is very important to maintain order in the society. Comment nous capable de maintenir order dans la société? C'est tout simplement by controlling people's behavior through the use of Sanction, that is positive and negative sanctions. C'est quoi sanctions? C'est tout simplement ben uh, certain rules that we tend to impose. 
Okay. <clears throat> Maintenant, quand il fait cause de positive sanction, c'est tout simplement ben rewards that we tend to give to people when they behave accordingly, when they conform to certain norms. Okay. Par exemple, si une personne peut travailler dur au travail, de ce travail, de ce boulot, ok? So, what happens is that a promotion is going to be given to the person as a reward, ok? Mais en termes de negative sanctions, c'est tout simplement un punishment. Par exemple, il est capable qu'une personne soit arrested as punishment for shoplifting, ok? So, These two types of sanction they play a very big role in social control of the society. Nous avons deux types de social control. We have formal social control and we have informal social control. When talking about formal social control, c'est relatif avec the law of a country. Okay, it is the official law of a country of a society. Maintenant, quand nous parlons de formal social control, nous avons les rewards and also we have the punishments. Okay? Par rapport à punishments, il est capable in terms of imprisonment, on fine, okay? ou bien community services. C'est par rapport à quand un jimoun il peut go against, qui dit qu'il peut break the law of a country. Maintenant, en termes de positive sanction pour formal social control, make as if a soldier has saved somebody's life, okay? So, the soldier will receive an official commendation. C'est ça pour formal social control. Now, coming to informal social control. Ça, c'est plutôt par rapport à face-to-face -face social uh, interaction with people. Il est capable en termes de ben individu ou bien il est capable en termes de ben groupe, Okay? Ça aussi pareil, il est capable en termes de rewards and sanctions, uh, punishment, sorry. Make as if for punishment. Make as if somebody is talking loudly in the church or is swearing in the church. So what happened in terms of punishment? Il est capable qu'il a personne pour faire face de disapproving looks. Ou bien il est capable de faire verbal negative comments. Okay? Maintenant en termes de rewards. Make as if somebody is helping an old people to carry his bag across the street. Okay? En termes de reward, la personne est capable de recevoir une réaction positive, informelle, reaction, ou bien est capable en termes de un smile, est capable de un verbal praise. Okay? Ce social control avec sanction, ben là aussi je dirais, ça m'a facteur là aussi je dirais un grand rôle par rapport à qui fait ben individu that behave in a certain way. Why do they conform to social expectation in the society? Deuxième, nous avons social pressure. One example of social pressure is peer pressure. Okay? Peer pressure is a influence direct to the person, surtout par the camarade. Ou bien, Peer pressure est capable de donner l'effet par rapport à comment est-ce qu'une personne est supposée behave. Ok? Une personne est capable d'influencer par ce même camarade pour le sens de l'attitude, ou bien de la valeur, ou bien de la behavior. Ok? So, they tend to be influenced by individual or by group. And one of the <coughs> major sanction which is used Negative sanction, which is used in group C, ostracism. Ostracism, c'est quoi? C'est tout simplement being rejected by the group. Okay? So, what happens is that for people not to feel rejected by somebody or by a group of friends, they tend to behave in a certain manner. Okay? Because they tend to fear exclusion from the group or from an individual. Okay? Donc, ostracism is a grand role par rapport à qui fait bien personne de agir, de uh, behave in a certain manner. Next factor which tend to explain why individuals conform to social expectations, c'est self-interest. Okay? Dans la société, pour bien personne capable de survive well and live well as members of the society, It is very important that we get along with other members of the society. It is très important 
that we communicate, we uh, get along with other people of the society. So we have to cooperate with other people. Okay. Personnellement, in a bad individu, they are less likely to support people who tend to act in very disapproved manner. Why? Because they will be victim of negative sanction. For example, that même en TM2 ben group ami, if your friend is going to misbehave in the street, so what happens is that you will not behave in the same way as the individual. You are going to disapprove about such type of behavior. So similarly in the society, it is the same way. Okay, in that way, individuals in the society they are most likely to conform to the norms and values when they see it in their in own interest to do so. Okay, this so is self-interest. And last we have social exchange. Social exchange. Ben, personne dans la société se uh, conforme de social expe expectations. C'est tout simplement parce que nous sommes dans social exchange. C'est quoi social exchange? C'est tout simplement the idea about what people give to others, it can be capable of them to and material good, be capable of them to approval, be capable of them to status. Okay, but when you pick up the social exchange, the relative with joint obligation. So we say when you pay down quelqu'un quelque chose, we tend to expect the giver to receive something in return. Okay, make as if if you behave well with somebody, the person in, in return is going to behave well with you also. So this is a social exchange. Okay, and also be, before we tend to behave in a certain way, before we choose an action, it is very important to think about the consequences for after. Okay, that means that we need to choose an action that will be beneficial for us. Okay, so as a result, if we tend to behave in a good way, so the action that we will get in return is going to be beneficial for us. So in such a way, we tend to conform to social expectation and we will follow the approved norms and values of the society. Okay, donc c'est ça, ben, facteur normalement qui aide pour un individu conform to social expectation. Okay? Pas oublier, nous avons agencies of socialization, nous avons agencies of social control, nous avons peer pressure, ça veut dire social pressure, nous avons self-interest et social exchange. Tout ça, même facteur là, aide par rapport à qui fait un individu se behave in acceptable ways in the society. Why people they accept norms and values in the society? Because we have a set, we have a lot factors, we have rewards, we have sanctions. People feel they fear about rejection by group. Okay, they fear about negative response by other people. To sala is we end grand role par rapport à social expectation. So we take a person to conform to social expectation.